Hey everybody, this is Nash here, and today we're going to be talking some Texas football. And in this video about Texas football, we're going to be talking about Jalil Billingsley rejoining the Texas Longhorns and what you should expect from him day one back on the roster. Now, he was serving a six-game NCAA suspension. NCAA suspension, so this wasn't a coach's thing. This wasn't a Nick Saban thing. This was NCAA the big boss. Now, from what I know, he's been on the scout team. He's been practicing in the scout team. So he's, you know, running the opposing offensive stuff. But so he has not had a lot of time practicing on the ones, getting acclimated with the starting guys. So if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below what you think Jalil Billingsley is going to be doing day one and how much he's going to affect the offense. I'll just go ahead and tell you right now, I think we need to temper expectations. I think I know all gas, no brakes. We need to hit the brakes a little bit on expecting Jalil Billingsley to come back in and just be this ultra-productive wide receiver. He's a really good football player, and I hope we can take advantage of his talent. But... So I put out a tweet on Wednesday saying, you know, just Wednesday night thoughts, late night thoughts. I wonder what the addition of Billingsley would do to our offense. And that, I mean, I, was, I, I wasn't I was even expecting one like. I was just expecting, like, nobody to interact with it. 173 likes, 18 responses. Most of the responses were people that were pretty hyped up. First, now, some people were level-headed. A lot of people were reasonable, and then a lot of a little bit of in between. And I wasn't saying right there that a lot of people were being unreasonable, but uh, a little bit. But I just think with the uh, with the Steve Sarkeesian, what he's shown us, you just don't instantly get in the offense. You don't instantly get. You have to earn that stuff. Now it was a completely different thing because this wasn't NCAA. But you look at a Jai Hall, you know, that was a coach's deal. Now, granted, it's a little bit different situation. We don't know what the, at least I don't know what the Jolo Billingsley stuff was. If you know what it was, comment down below. But it is a little bit different. Now, where I really start to say, like, let's tap the brakes on Jolo Billingsley coming back and being instant insane production i would agree with that and not to slight gunner helm because i'm a real big gunner helm fan but i'd agree with that if gunner helm was our tight end one but right now our tight end one is currently having his first real season as a college tight end be the best season that jaleel billingsley has ever had and the one thing that the one nitpick I would have with Jaleel Billingsley is he was and well and then it's hard to really nitpick this when the wide receivers on your team were Devontae Smith, Jerry Judy, and Jalen Waddle. You know, I mean yeah, I, I could understand why you're not a feature guy in that offense. I really could. If you because if you're a feature guy in that offense, you're you're a future stud. You're a future pro. You're going to be on fantasy football teams. And so it's not a slight to Jalil that he wasn't necessarily a feature of the Alabama offense. And what I mean by that is they weren't, he wasn't the, we're going to revolve a game plan around this guy. He was a guy that defenses they need to pay attention to and they can't let him get open. But when they do, he's going to make you pay. And that's what he did. Now, to, you know, regas the tank up on this, you look at Steve Sarkeesian, it's no secret that he loves running two tight end sets, especially with the tight ends that we have. I mean, it's just, it's an embarrassment of riches is what it is. Because I'm I'm probably a bigger Juan Davis fan than I am Gunnar Helm. And, I mean, it's just, we, we got a ton of, ton of depth at tight end. But it's really scary when you start to, because, I mean, they're very similar guys. Jalil Billingsley and Jatavian Sanders, going back to it right there. 
So when you start to entertain the fact that you can have two of these guys on the same field at the same time, and then you put a guy out there like B. John Robinson who catches the ball, put a guy out there like Jordan Whittington, Xavier Worthy, that's not a bad 11-man group out there. And even more so when you got plays where Jatavian Sanders is gassed out and he just need because he's run a really long route. Well, you got another Jatavian Sanders and Jalil Billingsley right there. Very similar body styles. Jatavian is just a little bit bigger. And what I mean by bigger, he's more thick. Jalil Billingsley is more of a wide receiver's weight. But this is the one wild card, I will say. Jalil Billingsley is a little bit different than any other player on the roster. Because, yes, Keelan Robinson did play under Steve Sarkeesian in 2019. But I don't know if you can really count 56 snaps when there were multiple running backs in front of you in the running back room. I believe at that point he had Trey Sanders in front of him and then Brian Robinson in front of that guy and then also Najee Harris. So there, he just wasn't going to sniff touching the ball unless something really, really multiple tragic events happened. And the difference is, but when you look at Billingsley, he's had far more snaps under Steve Sarkeesian. First off, in 2019 alone, he almost had double snaps. Keelan Robinson did. Keelan I'm assuming was injured in 2020. And you just look at the snap counts that they had. And so if you're just going off the snap counts and saying, you know what, Jalil Billingsley has earned Steve Sarkeesian's trust once. And once you earn someone's trust once, if you haven't lost it, it's pretty easy to either keep it or to gain it back. And that's the one area that I will say. Like, this is the one player. Ajay Hall was not on the team. He was not. He was a recruit. But Jalil Billingsley is the one guy that Steve Sarkeesian can say, you know what? I ran this play with him in Alabama. All these other guys got it down. I know Jalil will do it. I know Jalil will have this down. He can't say that about anybody else. So that's the one area where I'm like, you know what? Jaleel is a wild card. Jaleel could come back and just instantly have production. Do not expect that at all. But when I was making this video, I was like, well, shoot, that's a that's a possibility. Considering the fact that he's already had Steve Sarkeesian's trust once. So I think... Jalil Billingsley being reinserted to this offense over time will just add another weapon to an offense that is just there's just so much there. I mean, you have Jordan Whittington, and it's hard to imagine. Could you imagine if we had Isaiah Nayor? This offense could be nuts. So. Really excited to see what he does to this offense because I know Steve Sarkeesian likes running a lot of tight ends. Maybe we even see some three tight end sets. I mean, Jalil just and and he's not a bad he's not a bad blocker. Now, granted, it, all the blocking I really got to see was from the spring game, and what are you really going to be able to tell from that? But he didn't look too bad. I'm excited to see what he does. I'm hoping he can have some great success here at Texas. And let's go beat Iowa State. All right, everybody. Hope you all have a great day. Hook em.